Hi everybody and welcome to the tutorial for the DIY paint chip calendar kit. Um, I'm just going to walk you through all the stuff that you're going to be getting in the kit, what you're going to need in addition to what's in the kit, and you know the instructions of how to. So follow along. You're going to get paint chips in your kit, but if you don't like the colors or you want to do something else, you can go to your local Lowe's, Home Depot, and just pick out the colors that you want. But you're going to need 42 swatches. Um, you can do it how you want to do it. If you want to do ombre, like darker to lighter, you're going to need um, seven of each. But if you can, you can do all the same color. You can do black and white. You can do whatever you want to do. Um, but I'm just going to give you a random color palette from Lowe's or Home Depot, and then you can do that, or you can change that. Okay. In your kit, you're gonna get an 11 by 17 frame. This is gonna be the outside of the um, calendar and the paper inside is gonna be the back, the, the base for your swatches. You're also gonna get your swatches. I did an ombre blue for this um, example, but you can, again, do any color you wanna do. Um, you're also gonna get a dry erase marker in your kit, which you're gonna use to write the days of the week write the month and um, customize it however you want to do okay so first off we're going to open up our calendar you can use the scissors to cut the plastic And then you're gonna see that the, um, the black pieces, they come off. So you're gonna take those off. And you're gonna take the clear plastic part, put it aside for now. You're gonna be working with the back of this. So we're gonna be putting the paint swatches, the chips, onto the white paper. So you can leave your um, black the edges to the side as well. And we're just gonna be working with the white paper. Okay, next you're gonna take your lightest color. So here in this, it's this one. Um, and you're gonna cut a rectangle out of this rectangle. That is two and a half by one inches. And I'll show you what it looks like once I cut it. Okay, so our next step is to take the next darkest color, so for me it's this one, and we're gonna be cutting these into two by one and a half inch squares. They're gonna look like this when we're done, about this size, and this is gonna be the actual date on the calendar, the one through 30, 31, um, where you're gonna write the things you wanna do on that day or what you have practice, um, anything like that. So I'm going to um, show you how to cut those. Okay, so this is what you should have so far. You should have seven of these, which are where the day of the week is gonna go. And then you should have seven of these, which is gonna be the first week of the calendar, the dates of the calendar. So it should look like this. Okay, so the next step is just to choose four more colors. Um, so I'm gonna do one, two, three, 
four and you're gonna cut them the same way that you did the last step. So the two by one and a half inch box and those are gonna be the other four weeks on the calendar. Okay, so when you're done, it should look something like this. You should have seven of the smaller boxes up top, and then there should be one, two, three, four, five rows of seven of the bigger boxes. You can rearrange them um, if you don't like the order the colors are in, because nothing's glued down yet. So just take a look, um, make sure that everything looks good to you, and then we're gonna start gluing everything down. Okay, so I'm gonna start gluing them down, but I'm just leaving about the width of a ruler of space at the top so that we can write the month so that we can change it out um, but I do want to have enough room so that um, you can write the month there so just leave enough room at the top to be able to write the month and then we'll start gluing down the um, days of the week okay next we're gonna glue down our date squares the bigger squares um, in color order from light to dark so starting at the top, the lighter colors, and then the rows get darker as you go down. Darkest will be at the bottom. But I'll show you uh, what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so this is what it should look like um, before it goes into the frame. Um, so this is once it's all glued down. The glue is still drying on mine. You can see it's like is rippling in a little, in a couple spots. But this is what it should look like in general before it goes back into the frame. And I'm gonna show you the process of putting it back in the frame. Okay, so this is the back of the, um, the frame. This is the cardboard part. You wanna make sure that this goes on the top so that you can hang it properly. So lay this flat on the table and then put your newly glued calendar on top of it. All right, then next is the plastic. So on the plastic top is some cling wrap just to keep the smudges off. You're gonna peel that off. And then you're just gonna place that on top of the calendar. All right. And then you're gonna slide these back on for the finished product. So that's part one. Okay, and this is what it should look like at the end. Um, it should look kind of something like that. And then let's write our month and our um, dates on the calendar.
And this is the final product. I'll um, post a picture so you could see it right. Um, correct, not reversed or anything. But this is what it should look like. And then you can just wipe the days off. And then when the month changes, you can uh, change it over. You can reuse this over and over again. You can always redo it if you want to change the colors. You can just get another white sheet of paper and some more paint chips. Um, but yeah, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed this craft and this, um, this kit. And hopefully we'll do more stuff like this in the future.